Oh yeah, man. Um, hey, I think I'll probably kick off my 4X. Oh, I guess I'll be actually just introduce another part of this channel, which is my trade and content or what I want to do with this video. I can tell you this uh, fun the journey, you know, a journey to becoming a fun the trail. I will still think a little bit about the um, amount of air that my life would want in sports, but I definitely want to share that side, which is the business side to me. Uh, there's a very big part of me, everybody that knows me knows I'm big on investing, I'm big on everything that regards creating financial freedom for yourself. And um, you know, this car is a testament of it because of the fact that my network is what allowed me to even be maybe talk for the opportunity to get this car. You know what I mean? So it all wraps up really well. And what we'll probably do is just cut into a video where I just talk about trading. But for those just want to give a little background on how I got into it. Um, but as you said, I will start my defining process. Basically, my man, a kudos, showed up to Wells Capital. Uh, you know, he just showed me that, you know, trading is a lot more than just, obviously, having a good strategy, you know, and being able to make money fast. It is, if you want to be sustainable and make it something that you go for the time, if you got to have discipline, you got to have a, uh, a whole psycho psychology, uh, system behind you, you know. Uh, so I'm just gonna set, just focus on the work. So yeah, you you are basically be ready to take it extremely serious. You know, log logging was big for me. It was something that I didn't always used to do. And uh, something that really changed how I thought about you know the industry because. Before now, I used to just go, yeah, I'm going to take a, uh, a $400 here, and then a double that, or a hundred dollars here, and then can make a grand off of that. But no, it's different now. It's more of how can I make percentages per day, log any mistakes that I may be making, and then actually, you know, improve on that based on what I'm seeing. You know, it just, it just was a whole different ball game. I didn't care to cool down and say, look, man. I want to be successful in this industry. Here are my issues. How can we solve them? You know, and he realized, you know, if, but if I could show you my psychological profile, I had a lot of doubt, uh, lack of self confidence, causing some trades too early. And uh, obviously, I needed a system that could help me with that. You know, basically, be the system that up my confidence. You know, made me, when I take a trade, Holding our trail right through, and that's that. You know, and, um, I know this sounds like simple, frivolous thing to the people that have, have been in the industry, but Lord God, it was tough. Um, so from October 2021 to January 2022, I would have been studying with a full Um Yeah, I can see how much it was to do that, but it wasn't, it wasn't crazy, it wasn't a month, it was a month, 10 p.m. The information and start to learn from him, and then yeah, so January came around, and I still was in a position where they feel too confident about what I was doing. Told that to good old, then we, we went on to some, some other information. So, also, I was, I was studying phantom effects from October to December, saw the concepts, but the concepts weren't really working out in the real market. Then I went on to Rock's FX from January to February and I was very confident. I passed the, the free trail for FTMO. Um, I went on to do the $20,000 my Forex funds account for the first time. Uh, I passed Fears 1 and Fears 2. Actually, no, I passed Fears 1 and I failed Fears 2. So I was like, oh shit. But uh, this is our money. I believe I would, they might pay at that time to do that. Because they were actually was taking over this car though. So um, I didn't want to stop. I went on straight to do the tank here, pass the tank here fully. But after passing it, I just saw other traders, all the drills, all the snipers, shooting these snipers, you know, basically. Um, I just saw those guys and I was like, man, shit, man, then. 
making more money than me, the entrance cleaner, the take profits, a lot better than mine is, you know, it does look better, you know, and they're making more money than me. So I saw that, that, that affect me psychologically really bad. So, um, I'm so sure where I'm at right now is that I realized that my system wasn't bad. I did add part of my old system which helped me with analyzing the market with the street strategy and I uh, added that with rocks and facts and I have a system that's really good and the challenges I had this week in the market is that the market realistically had the trades I really had one good trip uh, Monday and that was it you know and it's hard because then you would be like alright is it my system or is it really the market and I realized only this week and I've been four years nine months is, is, is the market you know and I, I go and she go home I love that they love it yeah and um, so yeah, that's where yeah. Right now, going into today or tomorrow, I go on vacation and I'm using this as time to simulate training full time for work. And so you can see a lot of videos this week. That's me going into the market and hopefully getting some good success to make some money because the goal is to make enough to pay for. We actually can remove the 100k, we can go straight for the 300k after this 5k. But that's what I'm doing right now, I'm actually doing the 5k account. On fears 1 right now, I have a pass here, actually down about 3%. So, yeah man, it'd be hard man, I like it. it'd be hard because you know what you're capable of, capable of, but that don't mean the market conditions and always affect that and it, will, it might psychologically affect you to where you make some mistakes. You know, and uh, end up putting them out yourself further than you really should be. But, but, but this is all part of the journey you know, of my uh, Me and a good friend of mine, Ramon, we're talking about this same thing every day. Uh, he's at a higher level than me and experiencing some of the same things. So I know that it's not just me. So like, my strategy or my plan for this week is to go in. I'm going to stick to all GBY and GBP, GBY. You don't need to trade the dollar. Being a USDJ boy, because I'm trying to stay away from the manipulation in the market. But I don't want it. It's an EGA boy because um, I was spread stop on that this week and they had a phenomenal setup that I went well for the spread stop deal. So, other than that, um, I don't want to trade the dollar pairs because that's what I did this week. That was also an error. I added the major pairs thinking, okay. early because they realized it wasn't working, there wasn't the type of trades that I would have wanted any of. So that kind of worked for me and that with job, but other than that, it just helped me realize that, man, it's just a hard to trade. That's okay. You know? So, yeah, man, uh, that's pretty much all my talk on where you're at. You know, uh, the other things, of course, I have, I don't know if I want to speak on them yet, but I just want to introduce the Training aspect of what I'm going to be talking about on the channel now. Kind of still mixing the car because it's a nice Sunday drive. Uh, I want to do some for for X talks, man, like Hannah for X, you know, because yeah, man, that's what that's what I want. I want to share. I want to show kids that big part. Of
That's what it do for fun, boy. They go all day. Money with no, no money to do the investments. <laughs> Yeah, you know, this part here, yeah, you know, and all that, yeah. And the soccer voices and all that, so. My voices, yeah, they're both, they're both carrying the fight, yeah. There's a little girl, I want this drug, so yeah, but they don't want drugs. One of them I'm the most brutal and vicious no and most ruthless shit. champion there's ever been. There's no one can uh, stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. Spicy. He's no Alexander. Oh, I'm the best ever. Up. There's never been anybody like who's like me. 